February is Heart Health Month, and in Michigan, it's also Icy Road Month. Today, the roads are covered in little patches of black ice. And as I was driving, I started to feel that tension. You know, it's right in the center of your body where you start to curl over and start to white knuckle the steering wheel, which my husband keeps telling me does not make me a better driver. And it really doesn't. Plus, if I keep in that tense mode, my heart rate may start to trigger really high. And when it gets high enough, it will release the stress hormones. These floods of hormones that really do so much damage to our minds and to our bodies, and that we want to avoid. Plus, it doesn't make it a, a very good driver when we're under the influence of stress hormones. How do we prevent all that? Well, Heart Health Month, keeping your heart healthy, and staying stress-free on those icy roads go hand in hand. Because every time you get tense or tight when you're driving, you may be spilling way too much of your stress hormones. And that is causing a great deal of stress on your heart. In fact, chronic stress is the major problem for heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all those nasty things. If you truly want to keep your heart healthy and prevent a heart attack and stay away from all that nastiness, you need to start to become stress-free in all the little tiny moments of your day. That's what I teach at Pressure Free Living, for you to stay calm in all these little tiny situations every time you hit one of those little patches of black eyes. This morning, I was on my way to the radio station to do a talk about heart health. And as I came down my neighborhood, cars started to back out of the driveway. It wasn't looking at me. It didn't even see me coming because it pulled out right in front of me. So I slowed down, but then I hit a patch of ice. So my car started to keep moving. And all that can create a great deal of tension. Plus, I'm pretty PO'd at this guy for just pulling out right in front of me, right? I can easily move into road rage. How about you? It's all those other people on the road who don't know how to drive, right? Well, I needed to stay calm. I was about ready to have a radio interview. So the first thing I did was just relax my abs, my belly muscles. That's where that tension first starts to build. So I just relax those ab abdominal muscles and my heart rate didn't even start to charge up. That's why relaxing the abs is actually the first tool that I teach in my course. If you can keep that middle part of your body relaxed, it sends a signal to your brain that, whoa, not really under a threat here, everything's gonna be okay. So you don't trigger the fight or flight stress hormones. But if the heart rate does start to go up, we need to take a long, slow belly breath. I knew about this for years, you know, take a long, slow breath and you won't be stressed out. But what I didn't know until 2010 was that I wasn't taking my breath soon enough in that first 10 second window when I started to feel the tightness. So I was too late. The stress hormones had already gone out and done their nasty business. Now, when I start to feel the tension and feel my heart rate going up for whatever reason, doesn't matter what it is, icy roads, about to give a radio interview, you know, whatever it is, that's when I have to use my 10 second tool. In this case, it's just relax the abs or a long, slow belly breath. Now, uh, what is it, 85 to 90% of adults in our society do not breathe from their abdomens. They breathe from their chest. So we're gonna do a little something here to see how you breathe. Just put a hand on your chest, a hand on your belly and breathe normally. Which hand is doing most of the motion? Is your chest hand moving up and down like this? Or is your belly hand moving in and out? Or are both hands moving? A lot of people have both hands moving, so you're getting a little bit of air in your abdomen, but the chest is still kind of going up and down like this. Ideally, you breathe from your abdomen. Your chest doesn't even move at all. Everything's happening down here, and it's just expanding so that you get more oxygen out to your body, and just as importantly, you get rid of the CO2 that's built up in your blood. I'm gonna stand up for a minute here and just show you what it looks like from the side, okay? So, you should have a nice curve here in your back. So feel back on your back. Are you slumped forward like this? Are you tight in here, which is causing your lower back to be flat? If that's the case, you may be having some lower back problems. Relax your belly for a minute. I don't care how fat you look. I'm gonna be as fat as I can look here, okay? Look at that big belly. And see how this spine now has this nice curve, this lumbar curve here? That's what we wanna see. We don't wanna be like this. We wanna be like this. And then when you breathe in, you expand your belly. But let's breathe out first together. So tighten your belly muscles and breathe out. And you'll lose a little bit of this curve. 
and then open and pull all the air into the belly instead of in the chest. Now if I just breathe in my chest, see how my chest moved up but my belly didn't move at all? Instead, breathe in here and out and in and out. Right at this point, if you relax those belly muscles and feel like a balloon's falling into your hand, and then breathe in, now you can get a lot of air in there. Plus, you're retaining a nice curve here to keep your body healthy. So you can do it sitting down, too. And you just relax and let that belly open up for you. And then you tighten to get all the air out. That's how you can really experience a nice, long, slow breath. You can play around with your heart rate. As your heart rate starts to charge up, go ahead and take one of these nice, slow, long breaths and watch your heart rate start to fall back down. Remember the whole key in pressure-free living is that 10 second interval from when you first start to feel tightness. Any sort of anger, anxiety, if you feel ashamed at all or annoyed, that's when you're gonna use one of these quick tools to help you stay stress-free all day. So I'm Mel, wishing you a fabulous day, and I'll see you next week. Bye.